Hello everyone, it is August 12th. How you doing? Friday, happy Friday to y'all. Um, it's really windy out here, so odds are you're gonna get a lot of wind. There's people over there, so I couldn't uh, record in that place, in that building over there. But um, I'm gonna put my back to the wind and hope you can hear me. I don't know if you can or not, but we'll see. So uh, there you can see my scooter. And I'm gonna have Tai Chi class here in a little bit. But I just wanted to talk real quickly about some stuff I was thinking about today. Um, I was watching the movie yesterday, Jiro G Dreams of Sushi, which is a documentary about this 85-year-old uh, sushi master. Um, and it's made by the same people who, made sh who make Chef's Table, which is a documentary series on Netflix, which is really good too. But um, I was referred to this documentary film because I saw an email. In the email, someone said that every time they watch this film, it makes them want to think about like improving their skill and something. I was like, well, I like improving my skills and stuff. So I watched the documentary last night and I was like, oh my God, yeah, that's like ridiculous. Just the level of focus and all the stuff I talk about, like focus, consistency, commitment, taking responsibility, all those things. It's like perfect example film for that. So if you haven't seen it, go check out Jira, Jiro Dreams of Sushi. Jiro is the name of the sushi master. So really cool film. It got me thinking about what are the fundamental things that I want to practice on a daily basis to improve who I am. And you know, there's things like walking. I used to be really into walking for a while. Where I, would, I would go on these walks and try and build up my walking stamina and just become a much better walker. And uh, I got to the point where I could walk like 30 miles. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> which, yeah, anyway. So things like that, walking, and it makes me think about my profession and Whatever it is that you're doing, whether it's web design or um, surfing or cleaning houses or a garbage man or whatever, it doesn't matter. Whatever you do, just to do it with your full intention and uh, commitment to excellence, you know? And I think that's really what it's about. I was working on the start of my business plan, my business plan summary earlier today. And um, that got me thinking about that kind of stuff too. Like, what is it that I'm going to be known for? What is the aspect of my business is going to be excellent and how am I going to express that and what are the practices and practices I'm going to put in place for myself to build those skills that I need to be that person who's doing those things because it it's really about consistency but it's also about taking the right kind of action and making mistakes and being okay with making mistakes because we all make mistakes all the time it's constantly happening to us but it's how we deal with those mistakes what we learn from them and then how we change our approach from that point forward that really defines uh, us right as people so and that also defines our success in life so if we're the kind of person who has a failure and then loses it and stops trying or if we're the kind of person who has a failure and decides it means certain things and, and or we have a failure and we, we just go off and do something else that's unrelated to distract ourselves I mean, I've done all those things too, so I'm not, <laughs> I'm not pointing any fingers at anyone but myself. But the, um, the, the truth is that it's how we deal with failure or challenges when they come to us that will de determine whether or not we become successful. And it's all about that just consistent daily effort at that mundane task, getting really comfortable with being bored with what you're doing so you can build that skill and that necessary level of excellence that you need to get to in order to really be somebody who is proficient and masterful at something, right? Mastery Kung Fu in Chinese, it's hard work over time. It's not, sorry, I know this is, it's not stable on anything right here. There we go. How, well, how's that? Is that better? Maybe not. So Kung Fu is, is high level skill over time, right? It's something that is indicative of a daily practice, a daily skill development that you're working on. And it has that time component, right? You can't have good Kung Fu unless you put time into it. That's the definition and the requirement for mastery. So what are the things, and I'm, I'm in my, my mid forties now, I should really be have this dialed in, but I keep thinking about what are those things I need to do every day to build that those habits and that skill that I wanna be happier in, you know, scholastically, uh, academically, uh, professionally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, all those things. 
What are the things you have to do each day? Honestly, you probably only have to pick one. Just pick one thing that you really want to be good at and just focus on that and that will probably affect all the other areas of your life. Like the sushi guy, right? Jiro. Jiro-san is like, he's so amazingly proficient in this thing. It bleeds over in everything else he does. So he has just this kind of masterfulness about just the way he sits in a train, to be honest. It's amazing. So um, anyway, it's just stuff I was thinking about. I'm going to think about a little more over the weekend and kind of come up with ideas about what areas of my life I want to focus on and work on and become better at and just put in that daily grinding effort to excel at being the better version of myself. So that's what I'm going to work on this weekend. I hope you guys have good plans. <laughs> I know it sounds boring. Actually, it sounds pretty exciting to be honest. Anyway, sorry about the wind. I know it's crazy. Hope the mic helped a little bit. And um, if uh, anyone has any questions or you got thoughts or stuff, feel free to comment. Um, I'm getting some more views. I'm not sure why. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if it's the topic of the videos or what's happening, but uh, thanks for whoever's watching the video. That's, I appreciate it. Uh, feel free to comment and say, yo, what's up? And uh, you can subscribe if you really want to. That's cool too. I don't think I have many subscribers. Uh, but again, the whole reason I did this wasn't for that, so that's okay. Uh, so that's it for today. I hope you all have a great weekend. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, keep on keeping on. Boom.